Now, the opposition NDC is challenging the governing NPP to deal with the challenges of the Ghana economy as raised during last week's Coalition for Restoration public lecture. Rather than engaging, politi engaging in politics of insults and propaganda. Now, at a press conference in Accra, the NDC says government will do itself some good if it focused on the real issues raised at the public lecture, which has made uh, the Ghanaian city the worst performing currency in Africa. Our colleague Kingsley Komla Adum is at the press conference. He joins me right now on the phone with some details. Uh, Komla, what's, what's the latest coming out of this conference? Well, could you, a, a lot more information from the NDC. So, for example, they've been responding to the General Secretary of the NPP, John Boudou, who described the uh, comical, some of the NDC's lecture on the state of the economy in response to the public lecture or at that town hall by Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Bamiyan, you know, quoting some of the figures, which are they say, for example, when you go to the market today, the prices of foodstuffs have been increased astronomically and general living conditions for the people are worse off. And so those are the real indicators of the state of the Ghanaian economy, as opposed to the um, flowery figures that were put out by Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Bamiyan last week. So they say, for example, when it comes to infrastructure, contrary to the accession by the NPP General Secretary John Boudou that the NDC uh, always destroyed what the NPP starts uh, when they are in government, the NDC says they are the government that have put up a lot of infrastructure projects, talk about preschool buildings, talk about health facilities, talk about hospitals. They cite the 37, um, I beg your pardon, the military hospital that is being built in the Ashanti region, for example, to have started under the NDC government. They talk about road infrastructure and many other projects they say started under the NDC. And in fact, they commissioned a lot of those projects. As opposed to the NPP, they say in two years or almost three years in office, the NPP cannot vote of one project they started from scratch to finish. Another um, uh, position that the NDP holds, for example, is that when it comes to corruption, um, we know or we hear the NPP touting themselves as an anti-corruption party, a party that frowns against corruption and the like. But surprisingly, according to the NDC, the number of corruption-related um, you know, sagas that have been recorded under the NPP in two years alone are unprecedented. And according to the NDC, in all of these instances, the individuals who are thought to have played roles in these scandals, talk of the boss, talk of the uh, fuel contamination, talk of the visa racketeering scandals, talk of the uh, maritime authority issues, all of these individuals have been cleared by the president and have been in many occasions or many instances given some other appointments. And so they say the fight against corruption has been lost from the start uh, by this NPP government, they are challenging NPP, the government to, for example, name or provide evidence of any inflated project they cite. So at the press conference on Sunday, John Boyd, you talk about, talks about the NDC uh, superintending over several, several inflated um, projects, for example, the uh, Kakwa Interchange, they talk about the Rage Hospital project and many other projects. Well, the NDC says, well, these are, the allegations they made that was the missing power. And two years down the line, they have not been able to show evidence of one inflated project in two years. That means there was no basis for the allegations they made at the time, and they are challenging the NPP to bring this evidence and, in fact, prosecute any officials of the Ezra Mahama administration who right. uh, have played any role in these allegations. So those are some of the general issues they've been raising at this press conference for you. That's great. Uh, thanks for bringing us all the way up to date. That's Komla Adum uh, live at the NDC press conference, which is currently underway uh, right here in the capital city, Accra. Uh,